Howdy, welcome back to Sport Nation. I'm Tom Gooday. Today we are talking through the West Ham versus Huddersfield game, which happened last night. I am joined by Will Chapman to talk this through. Hello there. Will Chapman, what did you make? Irons have turned up, haven't they? Finally. Finally. What did you make of last night then? Um, they finally look like a, an actual Premier League team. Like a proper team. Uh, we predicted that Huddersfield, the Huddersfield steamroller would carry on, but they were going to always lose at some point. Yeah. It's come here, West Ham, home form, looking at it. Is actually really is good. Is actually all right. Yeah. Um, we hadn't picked that one up before the game, but obviously they, they've started late at the home ground because of the Olympic stuff. World Championships, yeah, because um, of the World Championships. World Champions of the athletic stuff, so, which is why it's been delayed. So now they're going to have a few home games coming up, which yep. hopefully they'll want to win. They've kept cl four clean sheets in the last five top five home games. So it's not looking so bad Not as bad Ham, as it was. Even though they are still in the relegation zone. They are indeed. Let's take a look at the table. Uh, so, West Ham, uh, still, yeah, 18th place. Yeah. Down there with Leicester, Bournemouth and Palace. Those other two teams struggling. Long way to go to start getting worried about that. But, yeah, it's good to see that West Ham are finally playing. Also, Andy Carroll played. Makes a big difference, He made a big he? difference. Like, he's won 13 aerial duels. Ooh, loves which a was, Which was the most that anyone's won so far in the air this season. Yeah. So it does make a difference for them, flick-ons and the strength. Yeah. And to be fair, West Ham should have been 2 nil up before they even scored their yeah, first yeah. goal. Hernandez hit the bar. And Carroll should scores the other one. Yeah, he should have scored. Whipped it across the box, Ooh. two of them slid in. Yeah. It's unlucky. So that could have been f ended up 4 nil. Yeah. that game. On um, another day. Huddersfield will be a bit gutted, but like what we were saying before, if you'd have told them at the start of the season they're going to have two wins, a draw and one loss at this stage of the season and be in sixth place. Then they're the taking it they're all day it long, day, exactly. They? So I mean, Huddersfield are going to cause teams problems, but I think if they play well at home and win their games, I, I, from the look of it, from the first four games, I like the look of them. I reckon they could stay Yeah, Would you reckon? No, I agree. I agree. I think they, they look really good. They've, they've surprised everyone. Yeah, they really have. Um, it's the likes of West Ham who should have been concerned, but after last night, promising. Coming on. So a couple of little uh, goal-related facts. Huddersfield didn't concede until 342 minutes of Premiership action. Good effort. Solid. They, were the, they were the last Premiership team they to were. concede. Good for your fantasy teams. You've got some clean sheets in there. True. And then a good little, li little bit of news for Joe Hart. He'd gone 23 games without keeping a clean sheet. Not ideal. No. Not what you want on the CV, is it? No, not what so you want. So hopefully he turns that around as well. Yeah, so now, first clean sheet in 23 games. West Ham, like we said, starting, or well actually quite good at home. Yeah. They're going to start climbing the league, aren't they? Yeah. The, the other thing to note was there was another high foot in the game, wasn't there? There was. Winston Reid. I don't think that one was It's not as, as bad, bad, but it's, it's you know, it's, it's worth discussion that there, there's three high foots this weekend. Yeah, there is. One of them was a red. Yep. One of them was a yellow. And Winston Reid's one was nothing. Ridiculous. So there is no consistency there. The, the only thing I would say is Richie and Mane flying in studs up. Yeah, true. Both feet off the ground. You could say more in danger. If that happens again, yeah, that's a red. Danger. Yeah, definitely. Whereas Winston Reid had one foot on the ground. He's swinging up. It's, it's his, kind it's of the laces backwards as well, isn't it's it? It's his laces that's caught yeah. him. Even though he has caught him in the face, it's not as wild. No, exactly. So maybe that one's a yellow. The other two are red. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how that goes how on. How the refs deal with the next one. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, West Ham get off to a winning start, finally off the mark. Uh, but we'll be going through other Premiership games later in the week, so check back then. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more. And for that extra sporting fix, check out our website for more great info, betting tips and exclusive offers on sportnation.com.